Hi everyone, this video is about how to use Axios inside our React app. So let's get started. Let's come to our base code and here I have created my React app. And after creating your React app, just simply install um, the Axios npm install Axios. Okay, by pressing enter, so it will install the Axios inside your React app. Let's check it. I have already installed that. See, this is the Axios which I have installed. So now let's test it. Let's come here to the let's create a file first of all app.jsx for example inside that let's write some code react functional component export and here we will write some code so let's uh, uh, first of all to test our axis library so first of all we should come here and this is the fake api uh, and we will test with this okay first we will get some posts let's uh, get let's uh, okay let's get users okay first we will get users from this api let's just come here and first we should import it import axis from axis yeah the axis has imported so now let's use uh, the use effect hook whenever we run our application so it should be run okay it should be rendered so let's write use effect hook dependency inside this now we will use our access library access so we will use the get method to get something from uh, our API okay get and here we will write our URL so our URL is we should copy this after copying this we should write this also okay to request in the response we will get something like this this is the request and that is the response slash API slash let's see what is the URL users and page 2 page is equal to 2 so it will uh, just uh, get us something the response would be like this okay so after that we will just use the callback function dot then and we will get our result here so let's console the result console dot log result if there was any error so let's catch that console dot log error so now let's run our application let's write something here Axios library in react yes. so let's run our application we would write npm run due let's press enter so it will run our application react app that has run let's press on this url let's move to chrome inside chrome our application will run now, now let's move to console we will get the answer in console okay let's come here to the console see in the console we got this result okay let's check it what we got this is the data that we got okay let's come to the data and the data that we wanted we access that one okay 7 8 19 11 to 12 three cards and six records total okay let's check it the response that we got from this see we got total six and 12 total 12 and these are the data that we got okay this was the response it means that the get request that we used right okay this was the get request that we used with the axis so whenever you get the data you can store them that in a variable how you should write le that let's check it okay i will just explain you it is very important const data is equal to sip data is equal to use state hook is an array type with us so you should write like this set data you should write result dot data dot data why i should wrote like this let's check it okay first of all we got the result then we should come to the data again to the data and we will access all these records okay so our records will be stored in this data variable i will just pause the video and write the code to not take time okay I just printed the email of them okay this code I wrote data dot map I use map function for that let's correct it and this is the variable and also we can uh, write with this like this okay D for example that is an instance whatever you write it is the index and here at the parent you can write key is equal to with the index or you can assign D dot ID also so we just printed the emails okay the purpose is that we should display the data so let's check it see we got all the emails that we displayed so now let's check our post request how to post data with access 
so to post the data we will just come here and after this we will change it to the let's write post and inside the post uh, we will write let's check it okay let's come here to this api and we would like to post the data okay check it okay post we will use this api and uh, the result would be this something like this okay so let's come here post and our url would be like this and here we, we should attach our data you should get the data from your forum and store them that in a, an object or an array like okay in object as we have stored this you should create a forum and pitch the data store that somewhere else then you should pass that here okay for example like data but now we don't have any forum so we should pass it manually we should write something like this okay simply come here to this api and just copy this okay we will pass this data and just copy the names I will update the name instead of this I will write Yusuf and here job developer okay we will pass this data now and in the response let's uh, print the response what would be the response console.log uh, result in the response we should get this okay something like this so let's check it I think everything is okay let's comment this yeah we have commented that let's come here now let's refresh it from scratch to see just the result that we wanted see let's check it what we got let's come to the data see we got that user developer id 27 and this is the date created data okay so it was the post request so now let's use the uh, put request means update request okay to use the update request let's come here to the put okay to the update we will update our data okay for example we should use like this we would like to update the second user okay to update the second user you should pass the id also for example i would like to update the second user and there i should uh, uh, pass our updated values again we should uh, take the values from forum and then pass that here so I will just update for example right for uh, instead of that array shopkeeper okay I wrote this so it will update now the second user for us and we will see that in the response uh, I think I didn't update this we should write put instead of post let's check it okay and in the result we will see something like this let's come here see we got this data okay if you refresh it we will see that from scratch yeah let's come here to the data back to the data see our shopkeeper and updated at this date so it was all about the update so let's see the the delete what we will get in the delete we would like to delete a user let's come here to the delete request we will force something our api will looks like this and the response we will get just 204 let's for example we would like to delete this second user we will not post any data to this and in the console we will get 204 response let's change it to the delete so let's check it let's refresh it again what we get see we got this data the response status is 204 that we got okay nothing from our delete side as mentioned here okay so it was all about using access with the uh, in react js okay you can use the uh, async and await with it uh, later but it was the beginners level uh, how to use the access git and post update and delete the data so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down and thanks for watching